I'm constantly telling you that Bank of America is the best way to play rising interest rates. Its gigantic deposit base means that it can practically coin money when the Fed tightens. They take those deposits, lend them out at a higher rate. But there's another aspect to the story that doesn't get nearly enough attention. See, for my money, Bank of America has the best consumer banking technology around. Their mobile business is taking share and taking names all over the country. And listen, having the best digital platform is a huge advantage. Why don't you go ask Domino's Pizza? Now, earlier, I got a chance to check in with Michelle Moore, the head of digital banking for Bank of America, the woman who's transformed this company into a digital powerhouse. Take a look. Michelle, every quarter, I see the digital banking numbers from Bank of America, and they are far better than everybody else. What's the secret here? The secret is understanding what our customers want. We listen to them, and we give them what they want, not what we want. So uh, I believe that a younger customer, for instance, mm -hmm. wants ease, right. wants mobile, That's maybe right. even wants voice. So the world is moving to mobile. We had 1.4 billion mobile logins in Q1 alone. Think of that. That's 100 million times last week, that they're logging into their mobile phone to do banking. That's much different than what you and I grew up with. There was no sure. such thing as mobile, and you drove to the branch. Well, one of the reasons why we did that is because we're old-fashioned. I don't know whether I trust my phone. I want to go to the teller. I want to go to the branch. But this next generation, which you probably want to lock up for life, and there are millions of them, they're comfortable with right. this. They're a voice generation, so we pay attention to what they're doing. Think of, we, there's over 60 million households in the United States talking to inanimate objects. And so we know that voice is a thing. And we said, why not in our app? Why not give you something to talk to in the app? Make banking so easy, do it any way you want. Okay, so what does it mean for the bank in terms of bricks and mortar versus a device that uh, uh, the next generation loves? It's both. So a lot of times people are asking me, is it branch or is it digital? Yes. It's branch and digital. It's how they work together. You can choose to do anything you want on the mobile device, and when you want to come in to talk to us about your life priorities, things that are important to you, nothing can replace the human interaction. Uh, digital mortgage? Digital mortgage, fantastic. We just launched that last week. So the ability literally to sit at home and on your mobile app fill out the entire application that used to take you probably hours, right. 300 some odd fields of information is now 10 if you're a customer of Bank of America. And then once you're done, you can go into the app it gives you to-do lists. It tells you what we need to help you complete the process. You can e-sign things right on your phone. Uh, you can connect directly to a lending officer if you need to. Everything's right there. How long? How long does it take? How long would it take to complete the application? Yeah, if I wanted to if I have a shot to find out whether I can get a mortgage from Bank of America. Me or you or a millennial? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, all right. I, well, it depends. On, obviously, it depends on the person's credit line. But right. the ease with which is certainly different from the current way. Yeah, it all depends what you're applying for. I mean, filling out the application should be 15, 20 minutes at most. Then right. the whole process around the credit check and everything else that comes with it. But we're talking days versus what used to take months. Oh, okay. Now, uh, person to person, uh, I always think of uh, PayPal, which is just a terrific company, okay? Mm -hmm. You've got a competitor. Uh, is there room for both? Yes. This is one big ecosystem. We would like to get cash out of the system, Jim. It needs to be about security, ease, send money to you in a quick, easy way. And so all of us, we live together. We're all trying to get a very secure ecosystem for our customers. All right, let me ask you about your background, Michelle, because yeah. it's important. I think many people will be say, sitting here saying, you know what, uh, that person uh, is just on fire, computer science, obviously, Stanford, who knows, whatever. <laughs> uh, could have worked at Google, could have worked. I and mean, that's who I think, okay? Yes. But then my, well, your, your background's a little late traditional for the person who's running digital, right? Mm -hmm. 15 years, Bank of America. I love the company, and I have a degree in economics from Cornell, so I'm not... What did you know about digital? Uh, nothing, but what nothing. I did know is I needed to listen to what customers wanted, and that's what's important. So, okay, so that's, all right, that's a great lesson because yes. I think that a lot of people go the other way. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the computer science degree and they try to invent something and they hope people want it. You're about ease of use and you're, you're about security and about touch. That's right, exactly. So I have a fabulous group of technology partners and together we build everything that you see that comes out in the mobile app. My angle is all about the client experience. How easy is it to use? Big buttons, beautiful design. Is it so intuitive that anyone can use it? And uh, who is Erica? Who is Erica? So, Bank of America, the last five letters of our namesake. Uh, very clever of us. But it really is 
Artificial intelligence, think of the masses. We have 65 million customers. How do we help them live their daily lives, give them information about bills are coming okay. due, or uh, how to better uh, improve your FICO score, things like that, okay. all of that delivered to the masses. Right, the one thing that I, again, old, my old-fashioned, my kids wouldn't say this, but fraud, Yes. And threats. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would think I can't use voice because the voice, they may get it wrong, or someone might use my, my voice. Put me at ease. Okay, so on the mobile phone, first of all, you have to log into that phone, right? So you right. have to have thumbprint. Hopefully, you use fingerprint ID if you're okay. <laughs> logging into your phone. Then when you log into our app, you do it again, right? And so the security is there. The voice is your voice, or you can choose to interact with Erica just by texting or tapping on screen. So we've given you choice depending on your comfort level. Wow. Well, I know you guys are well ahead, and I think a lot of it is just because of sheer uh, dint by the uh, and energy of what you've got, because you listen to the customer. That's, That's what we really right. want. Michelle Moore, head of digital banking, but actually head of figuring out what the customer really wants at Bank of America. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, you so much, Michelle. Thank you Good so much. You. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.